Welcome back and thanks for joining me, Because You're Fish. My name's Seth. If you've been following my channel, you know I've been quarantining two spotted Congo puffers. I ended up moving each one into their own quarantine tank. This is the other spotted Congo puffer here. It's a little freaked out because it just got a water change. In fact, all three of the spotted Congo puffer tanks got water changes preparing for this move. But this is how they're looking up till this point. They've been in quarantine for about eight weeks now. This is my spotted Congo puffer in my 40 breeder. This is the tank the two new puffers is going to go into. This is the tank the two new puffers are going to go into. And I'm going to move those puffers in here now. So stay tuned. And this is me catching the larger of the two puffers. I'm using a measuring cup and a net. The net is basically just to not let the puffer get past the cup. Uh, but I'm using the cup to keep the puffer submerged in water at all times. This way, if they do expand, they don't expand with air. Uh, apparently that's uh, an, a situation that I don't want to deal with uh, where you'd have to then aspirate them. Uh, I don't know, nothing I've ever experienced myself um, and not anything that I necessarily want to experience. I am trying to get this transfer completed quickly. I'm not rushing it. Uh, but I am trying to introduce all three fish uh, relatively at the same time. So if there is any aggressive behavior, uh, it's spread out kind of evenly among the three fish. Catching the other puffer went about the same as catching the first. Uh, but with all three in the tank together, uh, they all three puffers are pretty interested in what the others are doing. Uh, they're not showing any aggressive behavior at this time, so, so far, so good. Uh, Here are the spotted Congo puffers. You can see big female, had for a while. She's pretty weirded out by what's going on. She's lived alone for a while. There's one. Checking out the aquarium. Acting like I'd want him to act. You know, inspecting his environment. Looking for hides, food. And here's the small one. Now, this one's not necessarily acting very comfortable. Just kind of floating at the top. Usually it's pretty excited. Here comes my female. As you can see, there's some establishing dominance or whatever that aggressive behavior is, but again, So this one floated, <clears throat> floated, here we go again. This puffer, when it was in quarantine, 
with this other small puffer, it just sat at the surface like this. And it wasn't until it was in a tank by itself that it acted like a normal puffer. So, this might not be the ideal habitat for this puffer. We may need to find somewhere for it where it can just live alone and be a happy puffer. But we'll see as time goes on. Okay, so here are my spotted Congo puffers. They've been together for a while. I'm going to feed them. Now, I did move the small one over to my brother's house. He had a 75-gallon tank, some Emperor Tetras. He was really excited to get that fish, and it was doing great. But I'm going to feed these fish some snails. I'm going to maybe try to spread the food out a little bit. Now these two, they seem to be doing well together. See them eating. It's always a good sign for me. I've tested the water a few times. Water's still doing good. And these puffers are doing good, which is a big relief. Anyway, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing so you don't miss anything from me in the future. And I will leave you with a little bit of footage of that small puffer at my brother's house in his tank, and you can see how it's doing there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.